If you want to know how to get some renown, I suggest that you stick around. Hi, how are you doing today? If you don't know me, my name is Different Breed. I want to help you be more knowledgeable in the way that you play games, and I want to share laughs along the way as well. Today, we'll be talking about a few renowned strategies and what the best renowned strategy is. If I end up helping you out at all, consider subscribing. Also, be sure to stick around until the end for some more helpful ways to earn. A little background information. I have made some videos about renown in the past, and I keep getting comments on them how I lie and they don't work. Well, they do still work, things just have changed. I have checked the most popular strategies out there and spoiler alert, mine is still the best. Please watch everything before asking any questions as we will go over masks and explanations throughout the video, which might just answer the question that you want to ask. But don't let this message deter you from asking questions. I welcome them. Now let's go over the proof of my claim that my strategy is the best. At the time that I looked, the most popular strategies were to protect the hostage. The idea was to pick Tachanka and sit on a turret, then mow all the enemies down as they funnel through one way because you blocked off the other routes that they could have taken. There are two maps that are popular to do this on. One is Bank and the other one is Hereford. I played on both maps, all of the difficulties with and also without teammates. We're going to start on Bank. In normal difficulty, it took on average 7 minutes and 52 seconds, which gives 7.627119 times that we can do this in an hour. I did this with a group and recorded everything that we earned as well. I earned, on average, 1400 renown per hour, rich earned 945 per hour, and low earned 1225 per hour, which gives an average earning of 1191 per hour. For hard difficulty, we can do it 6.371681 times an hour, with an average of the averages being 1306 renown per hour. On realistic, we were able to do this 7.407407 times an hour, with an average of 1677 renown per hour. Hour. Moving on to Hereford base. On normal, we can do this 8.780488 times an hour with an average of 1266 renown per hour. Remember, the calculated renown here is still the average of all the averages. On hard, we can do this 7.54717 times an hour and get 1,643 renown per hour. Then on realistic, we could do it 6.417112 times an hour, which gives us 1,856 per hour. Just like Bank, even though realistic wasn't the fastest, it still earned us the most because we made enough per game to get more renown in the long run. Between the two, Hereford was more profitable because the map is smaller, so it's easier for the enemies to get to us. Their pathing is faster. Moving away from the mind Coming strategies and more hands-on interactive funner times, let's take a look at classic. On normal, we were able to do this 30.2521 times an hour with making 3,257 renown per hour. For hard, we were able to do it 23.8416 times an hour, giving us 2,808 renown an hour. And on realistic, we were able to complete it 19.78022 times an hour, yielding 2,560 65 at renown an hour. Normal was the better strategy for this game mode because we were able to complete them faster, which ended up giving us a little over 40% more games. So clearly the first two strategies on here are just no-goes. One, you can earn more faster by just playing classic. And two, these strategies are just so boring. Like seriously, I and my boys were having a hard time just trying to finish these games just so I can get this data to calculate everything. It was was tiresome. And on top of that, doing classic will give you more opportunity to get better as a player because you can work on your aim positioning. That's a win-win. If the first two stats were about double than they are, then maybe it would be worth it. But the benefits classic has over them, it's a no-brainer to do classic. But I still have one more strategy. The one that I have a full tutorial that I made almost two years ago at this point. The Extraction. My crew and I were able to do this on normal 37.5 times an hour, giving us 4100 renown per hour. On hard, we can do it 33.64486 times per hour, which gave us 3914 an hour. And lastly, on realistic, we were able to do it 33.96226 times an hour, yielding us 4238 renown an hour. So so out of all of this, the clear winner and still king is Extraction. Just like I preached two years ago and keep saying it's the best till this day. I am not lying. Now yes, 
because you earn more on realistic, going realistic would be the fastest way to get renown. However, I don't recommend it. I recommend doing normal unless you can complete realistic 100% of the time. If you cannot do that, then it's not worth it because you will not be earning enough to beat winning normal 100% of the time. Just stick with normal and extraction and you're all good. If you want to know how the extraction all works, like being able to tell where the hostage is even before you get to the building, you can check out the tutorial I made two years ago. Yes, it's old, but yes, it still works 100%. Just make sure that you complete the game after the clock says 108 and you will get your renown. If you finish any time before that, you will get zero renown as I demonstrate in that video. But everything that's laid out in that video is what I used for this video today. Now, I know you're sitting there and saying, but Breed, listen here, I don't have any friends. I'm not like you, I just can't speak and they will come. I, I hear you. In fact, I still can't do that. But there are a few things that you can do. One is, I have a Discord, shameless plug. There is a chat where you can ask for others to farm. If that's not your game, that's all right. I got something else. But before I tell you, let me go over the stats I collected on doing all these strats solo. I only wanted to do one of the mind numbing ones because, well, I didn't want to put myself through that again. So I did Hereford, since it was the best of the two. On normal, I was able to do this 8.801956 times an hour, which gave me 325.6724, or just 325 renown an hour. This is an example of how I drop the decimal points for the renown. I don't care what it is, if it's above five, if it's below five, I always just drop it and I take the whole number. That way, if we get more, we're, we're more happy about it. So I skipped hard and onto realistic, I was able to do it 7.594937 times an hour, which gave me 273 renown per hour. That's completely not worth it. Seriously, never do this. Go play casual or ranked before you do this. You will earn more in just one game. Yikes. Please don't do this. Seriously. Next on our list is classic. This may come as a shock to those of you who watch me live stream on Twitch, but I was only able to complete normal at a decent rate. Normal allowed me to complete this 23.22581 times an hour, which gave me 720 renown per hour. We are going to be earning around the same amount, so I want to get this done as fast as possible, and just trying to rush in and kill everyone caused me to constantly die on higher difficulties, which is why I don't really have any data for hard or realistic because I just kept dying and I couldn't reliably finish. And as the story stays true, when we moved to the extraction, which I only have normal results as well, I was able to complete this 36 times an hour, giving me 708 renown an hour. Yes, I was able to complete this quicker and have more games per hour than Classic. However, because I was earning about 19 renown an hour to Classic's 31 renown an hour, I actually made less doing the extraction, which isn't a bad thing. Like I said before, Classic has more benefits than any other game mode. So so it's a good thing that you can make the most off it solo. That gives a no-brainer as to what you should do when you're trying to do this solo. Before I go over some more solo strats, let me tell you how I measured all this stuff out without a ruler. I started my timer as soon as the screen went from black to in-game. I stopped the timer as soon as the screen turned black from the end screen animation. Some people were complaining last time about me not calculating in any load times. Well, yeah. Duh. Everybody's loading time is gonna be different. I can't really account for that. So I took the longest time that I could, and that's how the games I got per hour. So then I averaged all the game times that we had for the difficulties, and that's how I got the average time, which allowed me to get the average times per hour. I got the renowned amount, like I said before, by averaging all of our scores together. So I took all of my scores and I averaged those together. I took all of Rich's scores, those together, and all of Lowe's scores together, and then I I averaged all of the averages that I got together. So the numbers that I got are definitely not the highest numbers, which obviously I didn't inflate anything here. And now if you come up with a different strategy or if you're doing
doing a strategy right now that you want to test to see which one is faster you can use these times and strategies how i calculated everything to calculate it to see if yours is better or not and if it bests the best one that i have here please let me know so we all can use it but as you can see you can earn a ton more in a group of two or more than you can solo duly note the higher score that you get the more renown that you will get as well so let's say that we dislike people but we still want to get those full gains why does yubi hate us well I, I can't really answer that what i can answer though is how we can get around yubi's little trap of no more solo here's that something else that i was neglecting before you can get into a game with just one other person it can be more but you only need one extra go into a squad only and once the game is loaded in that person can leave the game after they leave the game when you get onto the end screen just hit retry or keep playing as a team boom you get full gains playing solo that's pretty amazing i can't believe this actually still works so again you got no one there's a discord server that i own that may help you if more people would actually get in that chat links in the description and there's one more thing if you don't want to do all that and talk to people that's cool too you can hop yourself into an online match the game mode that you select will be respected however the maps that you choose will not be once you have a match hope that it's on a small map and and then just keep hitting the retry button over and over make sure you don't hit that keep playing with team button because then it will put you into a search to get more people onto your team if you don't have a full squad of five the retry button will keep you in the same game or lobby you are currently in so once people start quitting out and leaving you'll stay in that game and eventually everybody will have quit out and you'll just be solo still getting those full gains now if you hit that retry button and it kicks you out back to the main menu that's because the majority of your team did not click that retry button again so you'll either have to ask them to hit that retry button or hope that they quit out before that timer goes down to zero do keep in mind though when you are doing a squad only you can control what maps and game types that you play but everybody in the party has to have the correct ones selected the games are based off of what everybody has selected that's in the lobby so you can get exactly what you're looking for if you go into matchmaking you cannot get the specific map that you want and just like the online matchmaking i can't put a setting on that forces you to like this video but if you enjoyed this or it helped i would really appreciate you hitting that like button and consider subscribing while you're there you can watch more of me by clicking one of the videos on your screen right now if you have any more questions feel free to ask me them in the comments discord or on my live streams all the links will be in the description below i hope you enjoyed and until next time stay different <laughs> Pause, <it>, dude. <sighs> Way to go, Bree. <laughs>